Igor Mogilov from the uh, Russian Federation, Deputy Foreign Minister. Thank you for being with WPC TV. A quick question. What is the solution to the Ukraine crisis? Okay, thank you for asking me this question. Uh, solution to Ukrainian crisis would be establishing all-encompassing dialogue within all within this country, within Ukraine, uh, between central authorities and all regions of the country, including southeastern uh, regions of, of Ukraine, and also all political forces. So my answer would be comprehensive, all-encompassing dialogue as it is stipulated by Minsk arrangements that were reached by uh, parties concerned. But there seems to be, to me, to be an absolute lack of trust by the West about Russia. And how do you resolve that problem? Uh, the, <laughs> the problem of trust, it's, uh, it's, it's a problem which uh, uh, not easy to resolve, obviously. And uh, I agree with you that there is lack of trust. And uh, my recommendation would be to fulfill uh, your own obligation. I mean... Uh, but the UK and Russia are both guarantors of Ukraine's um, coherence as a state. Uh, UK? Yeah, I think UK didn't no, decide. No, 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 UK. Uh, um, you know, there were, when the previous President Yanukovych was in office on, in the end of February, and he signed an agreement with the opposition leaders, there were three guarantors of this agreement, and they were foreign ministers of France, mm -hmm. Poland, and Germany. There was no UK there. So, on the next day of that agreement, there was coup d'etat in, uh, in Kyiv. And those guarantors did nothing to guarantee what they were supposed to do. And uh, again, if you're asking me about trust, my answer would be you should stick to your obligations and you should fulfill those obligations. And one of the points of that agreement on uh, February 21st was uh, the forming the government of national unity and constitutional reform in Ukraine. Nothing of this was done up to today. Are you encouraged that uh, with Poroshenko? In what sense? In the sense that uh, he's a, a different personality at the top of the Ukrainian government. Uh, is Poroshenko is elected president of this country, so we uh, communicating with him as, as, a, as a member of, uh, as a you know, leader of, of our neighboring country. So One it's not a matter of encouragement or discouragement. One it's last question, uh, very briefly. Richard Haas, I think, just talked about a Monroe Doctrine being pursued by Russia and by China, a new Monroe Doctrine. Do I you object to that? Particular? I object to that. I believe that my Chinese colleague commented on this uh, very rightly, that uh, Mr. Haas is, you know, mixing uh, different centuries. We are now in the 21st century, globalized for world, and isolation is absolutely uh, not, not possible. Uh, like I said in my presentation during these panel discussions, uh, we are living in the period of uh, transformation, a serious transformation in uh, global, in the world uh, politics and in the global system of international relations. Uh, unipolar world is, goes to history and there is no reason to doubt this. So we are witnessing the forming of a new multipolar system of uh, global uh, relations. And uh, in that sense, there could be no uh, Monroe doctrines in, in this new multipolar arrangement. Yeah. And that Thank, would be you. Thank you very much. Thank you. WBC TV. Thank, Thank you. you.